Hey guys, Ryzen here. And Liz. And uh, you haven't noticed the NFL season is uh, not going so well this week. Um, this may be it for the NFL. It, I don't know how they recover from what's going on right now. So if you haven't heard, which uh, it's kind of all it's pretty in bad. Right now. Um, the Broncos have no quarterback at all. The entire quarterbacks, all of them are gone, including the practice squad. They're all gone. So they're they're now playing a practice squad wide receiver at quarterback tomorrow. Apparently they're going to be made to play the game, which is nuts. Um, so, I don't know. <laughs> um, they don't all have COVID. From what I understand with, with the Broncos, one quarterback had COVID, and the other idiots didn't wear masks around them and violated contact tracing rules as a result. Got COVID protocols as a result. They violated them. So now they're in mandated quarantine because – I don't know. Don't be stupid. I mean, common sense. So, um, that just happened apparently. And, uh, the Ravens keep having COVID tests coming positive because their conditioning coach decided not to wear his contact tracing device. And so no, nobody, and so nobody knows who he was around when he had COVID. He was asymptomatic, I guess. And he looks like he's infected, like, literally half the team. Uh, I think the Ravens right now have literally exactly 53 players counting the practice squad. The literal number you can take to the game. That is not good. Uh, <clears throat> and that assumes there's no more positive, uh, positive, positive uh, tests, which there's probably going to be, considering the outbreak is clearly not contained as of right now. So I don't know. I mean, we have a list of, of who tested positive for the Ravens. Uh, <laughs> Monday it was running back Mark Ingram, J.K. Dobbins, defensive tackle Brandon Williams. Tuesday, Pernell McPhee was added. Wednesday, defensive end Kalis uh, Campbell. Then guard slash center Patrick McCarry. And then Matt Skura. I mean, granted, the guy doesn't know how to snap the ball anyway. But still. Thursday, defensive end Jihad Ward. Yeah, if you notice, the Ravens have almost no guards left at all on the team. Uh, in fact, they have basically no D linemen. They have three, like three D linemen left. Four, if you count us, like a swing guy. Um, I think they have a seven offensive linemen total. Excuse me. Four of which are tackles, and that's counting practice squad. Yeah, it gets worse. So Jihad Ward was was put on the COVID list Thursday. Friday, Lamar Jackson, of course. Oh, my God. Stop it, Cap. God damn. Um, so, yeah, Lamar Jackson. Their only fullback, Patrick Ricard, was put on the COVID list. That's a big problem considering they're a running football team. They're actually terrible passing the ball. Uh, defensive tackle, Justin. Matabuki? Yeah. That guy. Long snapper, Morgan Cox. They have no long snapper now. That's good. Uh, Saturday, uh, outside linebacker, Jalen Ferguson. Guard tackle, DJ Fluker. Guard tackle, Will Holden. Defensive tackle, Broderick Washington. Cornerback, Taven Young. Cornerback, Khalil Dorsey. That's everyone. And that's everyone so far. And uh, That's from uh, ESPN. Yeah, the Ravens are screwed. And uh, the Steelers have not escaped either. They have at least five players. Right now, including James Conner. And uh, the problem with James Conner getting COVID is that he had cancer two years ago. He is at high risk. Uh, oh, yeah. So, you know, hopefully he'll be okay. But because I don't know what happens if he ends up hospitalized. That's really bad luck for the NFL. Um, and they're expecting these guys to play on Tuesday. Come on! No way. The game's There's already no way. Been, the game's been moved to thir- from, Tuesday, from Thursday to, to Sunday. Then it was moved from Sunday to Tuesday. The Cowboys, I think Cowboys Ravens game, yes. was their Thursday game. That's moved to Monday. The following Monday, right? There's no way they put. If there's a positive test tomorrow from from either the Steelers or the Ravens, they, I don't know how they're they play. can't play. They can't there's play no the way. Uh, because you have to have, I think, three days of. Five, at least? Uh, Three? I don't know. I don't know. You need to have so many days of negative tests in a row where nobody tests positive. Probably three. I think it's three. That sounds right. Um, 
So if there's a test tomorrow, they're they're screwed. They're screwed. Actually, it's probably two. Here they go. What does that mean? Here, Bucko. Oh, the dogs. Oh, the dogs. Okay. So, um. So on top of that. Well, the Lions fired their coach. The Lions fired my, Matt Patricia and the GM, I think, too, whoever that yeah, is. Yeah, they did. They fired the GM, too. No surprise there. The Lions have been awful. And on top of that news, the 49ers are now homeless. They have no stadium. Because their county has basically and, put a pause on yep. contact sports. Yep. And they will not be the only county to do that. I guarantee that. Uh, you know, I, I think I said a few weeks ago that you know, this was not going to be the NFL's choice at a certain point, and it, we're reaching that point. Uh, really what the NFL should have done, yeah, the season should have already been over. It should have been over by now. The playoffs should have been over. Everything should have been over by now because we're going into winter where there's always a surge in a pandemic. So they should have started the season months before it started, and it should have been an eight-game season, and everything should have been done by now. Instead, you messed around and decided you were going to keep your 16-game season, keep it all as normal minus the preseason. Yeah. Well, what did you think was going to happen? So we're in a terrible situation now where I don't see how the NFL season finishes. I don't know what they're going to do. Because there's too many games now that they're going to have yeah. to shuffle. Well, as soon as they can, because they're, they're very likely going to have to cancel the, the Ravens-Pittsburgh game unless they magically have, a, have all negative tests tomorrow. I don't see that happening for the Ravens at the very least. No. Um, and that means you cancel the game and then it becomes a week 18 game, which means the bye is gone for playoffs. Right. Uh, sorry, Pittsburgh. I mean, it's a pandemic. It is what it is. Right. Um, they would lose their first they would round lose, bye. They would lose their first round bye. Which and they're the, going to get. Nobody. They're going to get the first round bye. Obviously. They're, 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 well, they – well, maybe, but not if the game gets canceled. Then nobody gets a buy, as, as from what I understand. Oh, they're going to change though that around too. Yeah, as, as from what I understand, there's there's going to be no team with a buy because week eighteen would be a game. Right, I see what you're saying. So, um, and then they're going to, I guess, they would add another wild card team, right, to the playoffs. I, I think that's what the changes are, but I don't know. It doesn't look good. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. This is a disaster pretty much for the NFL right now. Yeah, and then on the Patriots side of the house, um, Isaiah Wynn, He's on Rex fire. Burkhead, and then some idiot on the practice squad is got suspended for illegal drugs or substances. But yeah. Wynn and Burkhead both got put on IR. Yeah, it was a, probably some sort of steroid that was prescribed. Something it was for like an that. injury, but he didn't report the, su the substance. Yep. It was a banned substance. So, you yeah. know. That's those are the rules. Um, I mean, the Patriots suck anyway. Who cares, really? Yeah, it doesn't matter at this point Who for them. Cares? And as far as Isaiah Wynn is concerned, um, get rid of him. It's time to move on. I mean, this is the third year in a row. I'm sorry. At a certain point, if you cannot protect yourself, look, I know fl fluky injuries happen. You have them once, maybe twice. This is not a third time. Right. Nah, move on. Move on. You know, get, cut the guy in the offseason. Maybe you can trade him or something and just draft a new left tackle because the guy's worthless. I mean, he just he, he's constantly hurt. Right. He's a great player, but you can't he's be constantly. Player, you can't be hurt all the what? time. You can't be hurt all the time. I mean, right. You, it don't matter. You got to be aware of the situation around you. Right. You have to be able to protect yourself. You know, fluky injuries happen, but they can't happen three times in a row. Right. And it's the same thing. He keeps getting hurt. I think it's his leg every time. Leg or ankle or whatever. So, you know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm getting really tired of it with him. So, um, I don't know. Patriots can load up in the off season. They got plenty of cap, but they're just not very good this year. And it is what it is. Yeah. It doesn't help that like eight players opted out and they got, they got screwed with COVID anyway, earlier in the year. And that kind of threw cams rhythm and off, off center. And it is what it is. Yep. I mean, it's a pandemic. I mean, there's nothing anybody can do about it. But. So we'll see what happens tomorrow with the, with the Ravens Steelers. Broncos disaster. Uh, the Broncos are supposed to go play tomorrow. But I don't know how they're going to play. That kid probably hasn't taken a quarterback snap since college. Well, the Broncos can play because it's not really an outbreak. Right. But they're having a practice squad wide receiver who played 
quarterback in college how many years ago who knows i mean the difference between what happened with the ravens and what happened with the broncos is the broncos everybody wore their contact tracing stuff so they knew right away who oh the quarterback was here he met with these people oh they weren't wearing masks because they were idiots so now you're all quarantined for 10 days no outbreak very likely i mean it's possible but very likely no outbreak the ravens oh i'm not gonna wear my contact tracing device who did you meet with? I don't know. Yeah, so who knows outside of the team who he's infected? And then you can't determine who is a risk that met with somebody else because if you don't have, you know, patient zero, you don't have patient one. You don't have patient, you don't know who patient one is. Right. You don't know who they met with. Right. So this is the problem. That's why you have to have the origin source of for contact tracing to work. And it was the, the conditioning coach. And I know locally in our county, the county executives give reports every day. And they're saying that the majority of the people are not being truthful. Yeah, and that's a problem. <laughs> they're just flat out lying. Oh, I don't know. Well, yeah. Well, some it's of them not like have, they're going to like. Not actually know where they some they do, but the bulk of people are like, oh, I don't know. So, you know, I don't know. We're in a really shitty situation at this point. So, yeah, we'll see what, how the NFL responds to all of this and go from there, I guess. I mean, realistically, what, what – I mean, what they should do is – Nuclear options, pause the season for – A week or Until two. the end of winter. I mean, that's really the nuclear option. They could. Um, they shouldn't be playing football in winter. I mean, it's common sense. Well, they could just stop. Common. Well, no, it's just common sense. I mean – what are you doing? They could just end it. The yeah, um, and that's that's the last resort. Is the season's canceled? And no, Nobody and, wins, and there's no Super Bowl. That's, and that's it. just is what it is. My guess is they'll do the Week 18 option because that's their that's supposedly their last resort before they cancel the season. But I mean, with this many teams having this many problems, it's too many, it's too much to jump. And now around. counties are starting to take it out of their hands. I mean, what are they going to do with the 49ers? They can't practice. They can't play. I don't even know what the closest stadium for them would be. They're away right now, but next week they're home. What yeah, are they going to do? do? Right. And they're going to have to play at some college somewhere. What I happens guess. in California? If other counties in California close, see <clears throat> that's the problem because the Patriots in the next two the next two games they're playing at the at LA. Right. The what, first is so, against the Chargers, and the second is against the Rams. So what happens if California shuts down? If one county is, I wouldn't shock if LA did something too. Yeah, I mean LA County mm-hmm. might. I mean, who knows? I mean, they're in San Francisco. That's the northern part of the state. But who who knows? Oh, no. Yeah. Who knows if L.A. does anything? I don't know. I don't know. They I could. Mean, I, I mean, some people think maybe maybe they'll be able to make a deal with the county. They're not going to just have, let the NFL have contact sport when nobody else can. Right. That wouldn't, be fa- that wouldn't be fair to other I mean, You're not going to have college football but or high school football, but you can have NFL. That's not, it's not going to happen. That doesn't make any sense. Well, I think high school football is over by now. Yeah, most, I think it is. For too. most schools. But – you know, you're not going to have any other contact sport but the NFL in your county. That doesn't make any sense. Nah. So, I don't know. The 49ers are screwed. They're probably going to have to play the rest of their games on the road. The Broncos are screwed. They're bad anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I mean, the Broncos suck anyway, but, I mean, it's still, it's un- still, it's still unfair. unfair. It's unfair to the team, yeah. But, you know, there will probably be consequences, too, for these teams, like, uh, especially the Ravens, my, you can kiss your first round. You can kiss, you know, high round draft pick goodbye. I know they fired that guy, but I, yeah, they, they disciplined him. I I think they fired him. The team should face some. But pre- there will be there will be consequences because they completely broke protocol. That's and, what it sounds like, yeah. So they're they're gonna have consequences. The Steelers looks like they have not broken protocol, but it's a pandemic. I mean, it's sometimes just un- some, this happens anyway. It's unlucky. You know, like the Patriots didn't break protocol; they got it anyway. Unlucky again. Um, you know, sometimes you get unlucky. But I'm guessing the Ravens are gonna get draft picks taken away and fines. So I would think. We'll see. All right, well, tomorrow the Patriots supposedly play. At one o'clock. At one o'clock, they play um, the Cardinals. Cardinals. They'll probably um, lose. We're gonna get our asses kicked in that game, so just so you know. And uh, well, we'll recap how bad it is. I'm guessing like forty-five to two. Maybe they'll give us a safety. Forty-five to ten. Yeah, it's not gonna be good. We're gonna get creamed. We're gonna get totally creamed. Yeah, but well, that's all right. As always, next year. All right, this is Ryzen and Liz. Thanks for watching. Take care.